Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Smart Cuff Gen 3 Pro Cuffs for something we call ischemic preconditioning or IPC. So IPC is utilized prior to high intensity exercise and what the literature has suggested is that it helps to reduce the exercise muscle damage induced by heavy intense exercise. So I'm going to use these cuffs. I'm going to put the cuffs on first. Use the appropriate size cuff. In my case, I use a large cuff because my thigh is larger than 23 and a half inches. I don't have to worry about using the little, um, the little ears, the little tags, because I'm not gonna be exercising with this protocol. This protocol is totally done passively prior to heavy intense exercise. If you notice, I'm going to make my life a lot easier by having, oops, I did it backwards. I was just saying it, but I'm going to make my life a lot easier by having the stem facing forward. You'll see why in a second. And I'm going to bring these cuffs up as high as I can go. And you're going to make them as tight as you can before laying down. So in my clinic in Dallas, we have these things called recovery pods. We have a couple of them. We do IV therapy in here. We do um, things like this. We do uh, neuroacoustic um, deep meditative state training. Um, we do Norma Tax. We do a bunch of different things. So it makes it convenient for me and my patients to be able to do this type of training here. So I'm going to slide into my into my recovery pod. This one got a little bit loose, so I'm gonna just tighten it up a little bit more. All right, so now I've got my, I've got my pro pumps. You need a pro pump in order to do this because the, uh, just the Gen 3 cuff does not, or the Gen 3 pump does not have ischemic preconditioning uh, setting on it because we're using very high intensities. So from here, I'm going to connect and I'm going to connect on this side as well. I'm going to face it this way so you can see. I'm going to go to update. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to start exercise. I'm going to go to leg. I'm gonna go down to IPC, and I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna let this inflate. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side. Start exercise, go down to leg, and I'm gonna scroll down to IPC, and I'm gonna let it inflate. Now these are going to about 100% limb occlusion pressure, so it's a lot of pressure. That's why we can't exercise with it. We're essentially occluding arterial and venous blood flow, both directions. We're gonna stay in here for five minutes, and then the cuffs are automatically gonna deflate after five minutes. We're gonna take a three to five minute break in between, and then they're gonna reinflate. We do three to five rounds of this. Then within 45 minutes, we go and we do our high intensity exercise. Those high intensity exercise, whether they're squats or it's sprinting or it's something else, plyometrics maybe, um, this will help to reduce the muscle damage so that way we can train more regularly, faster, I won't get the soreness that I typically would uh, tomorrow. So that's how to do ischemic preconditioning in the lower extremity. You could also do this in the upper extremity if you're gonna do a lot of high intensity exercise, heavy weight lifting in the upper so that you can uh, repair and recover faster. Thanks so much. I'm going to hang out here and I'll see you next time.